How about this one from Liam? There's something wrong with that beach. That's the Suicide Squad. Wait, unless it's the movie Old, because <laughs> there's a there's a there's a beach that makes you old in it. You got it. That's I right. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I haven't seen it, but that beach does make you makes old. Makes you old? There's something up with that beach. <laughs> what is it? I mean, it makes you old. Yeah. Anyway, the last one's probably the Suicide Squad. Yeah, it says, uh, it's from Maddie who says, this is like a group project, which is crazy because it's like, if one of them felt like a group project, it's not that one. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Anyways, Mason, you've done very well, I think, on Thank this one. Thank you. You even got the movie old. Yeah. Because, you know, I thought I'd throw that in there. I knew there was a good chance that you'd get it, but that one did have a beach. Because I knew, James, you were going to do... I thought you were going to do High School Musical, which features Zac Efron, and he's in that movie 17 again, which yep. is about a, a, a man that becomes young. And I'm like, that's how James's <laughs> brain works. That's good thinking. Go straight to the beach that makes you old. That's right. Mm. Exactly. Here's the, th- here's the thing. Both of us rented this movie on Amazon Video, yep. and we watched it on our televisions, mm-hmm. and... It's the, something's wrong. Something's <laughs> wrong with it. it, it it's, it's weirdly massively oversaturated in every frame. It's insane. It, Why aren't people talking about this? <laughs> but then you played it later on your laptop and you're like, it's fine. It's fine on my laptop. The same version, because obviously you can switch between the two, is fine. I also then rented it through YouTube. It's fine. It seems to be specific televisions and specific <laughs> streaming platforms are we the only two people in the world this has happened to happen to and if people are wondering what it looks like i filmed it on my phone <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is this is my hand right look at this that's insane look at it look at his my god Doctor Strange at the end is like, uh, Watcher, I can see you there. Help me out, bro. Yeah. And the Watcher's like, he, the Watcher used his famous catchphrase, which is, you got watched, bitch. <laughs> I've been watching you this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> should uh, we make some t-shirts that say, you got watched, bitch? I think we should. <laughs> can he be wearing a watch and pointing to his watch? Yeah. Yeah, pointing to his wrist. You got watched, yeah. Yeah, I've broken it down into about... 20 odd easy steps. So what? this is his plan. Okay. So his plan is for for people who haven't seen this movie, his plan is he wants to get revenge on M. Mm. So he hires an assassin to steal a list of NATO agents. Yes. He gets this assassin to shoot Bond but not kill him using a bullet specifically that would identify the assassin because only three assassins in the world use these bullets. Great signature. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, but like it's three, so they could have picked a different one. But Bond did see him. See him with with his. I mean, he fought very close. He was on the on the. He was the only guy also on the top of the train. Good point. So Silver would have to assume there is enough bullet fragments remaining in Bond mm-hmm. that he could take them out, put them through analysis, uh, and enable Bond to track him to Shanghai. Yes. Silver has to not pay the assassin with money, but with a casino chip that he'll keep in his briefcase, knowing that Bond is still fit enough to kill the assassin and find the chip. Bond will go to the casino, be confronted by thugs that have been told to kill him, but Silver knows aren't quite good enough to do so while receiving a clue to his next destination, which is Silver's boat. Yep. He has to get on the boat. The boat goes to Silver's island. He has to hand Bond a gun and know that Bond won't immediately kill him with it, <laughs> but will kill everybody else and lead MI6 to the island. He, he needs to get captured and brought into MI6 headquarters, which is now in the subway because he previously hacked the MI6 mainframe and blew up the previous headquarters and knew that they're protocols was to to take the headquarters into the subway. I love that subway headquarters. I love the look. It looks great. He knows that MI6 will attempt to access his computer while it's connected to the network and unlock all the doors in MI6 headquarters, enabling him to escape into the subway. Uh, His plan is to then put on a police uniform, run from Bond, who doesn't shoot him despite a number of opportunities to do so. He then plans to meet up with a couple of his buddies, also wearing police uniforms, walk into a parliamentary inquiry that M is attending, and then just sort of fire indiscriminately for a bit and then run away. <laughs> that was his plan. He's had years for this. It's, that's the plan, is it? Yeah. It, look, he's, he's, he's obviously... Because he could have just skipped all the other stuff. Yeah. He could have just just waited for M to be in the street and shoot her. Yeah. I know he wants, I know he wants delicious revenge. Oh, I love delicious revenge. But most of this, irrelevant. Yeah. No, you're right. You're but absolutely right. But the reason right. all this is in here... Why? Is because in the Dark Knight, 2008... <laughs> The Joker had a similar plan, including getting captured, and that was all part of his plan. And they just went, pretty good. Let's get a, let's have a, like a, an oddly dressed, facially scarred man yep. who's mentally damaged, and and he wants revenge because of a, a you know, a, a, 
A system that's a failed A system him. that's failed him, exactly, yeah. yeah. And they're like, let's just do that, because we're the Bond franchise. I have a quote here, Mason. It's from director Sam Mendes, who says, In terms of what Nolan achieved, specifically The Dark Knight, the second movie, what it achieved, which is something exceptional. It was a game-changer for everybody. Hmm, curious. What Nolan proved was that you can make a huge movie that is thrilling and entertaining and has a lot to say about the world we live in, even if, in the case of The Dark Knight, it's not even set in our world. That did help give me the confidence to take this movie in a direction that, without The Dark Knight, might not have been possible. Because I couldn't have done The Dark Knight. <laughs> there you go. So Changes were made from the comics that did not need to be made. Are you talking about Snake Lips? I'm the talking about Snake Lips. <laughs> with carefully cultivated, just moulded, beautiful musculature <laughs> and beautiful lips. You want him to just pick, pick you up in his big arms and cradle you against his big... <laughs> Batman 89 <laughs> carved musculature and give you a big comforting kiss with his big moulded lips. Do you think when he puts the mask on he has to lock his lips in? That's a great question. To the question. inside of the mask, his I, real lips? I hope so. So that mouth is slightly open. I'm like, has he got different masks? What's sure. he doing? Because the mask doesn't move as far as I know. He has to anticipate when he might be surprised, for example, or yeah. quizzical. And then he has to dive behind a pillar and put his quizzical lips on. <laughs> like, hmm, pursed lips to indicate scepticism. Hmm. <laughs> 